past six months I've been working on a physics-based boxing game. In this time frame, I went from knowing almost nothing about Unreal Engine to... We also moved to an island, sold almost all our stuff... Oh, and I quit my job to work full-time on the game. In my quest to become the greatest game developer in the entire universe, we're gonna take all the progress we've made in the last six months and recreate it in Unity. But we're gonna try to do it in less than a week. Let's do this. Okay, but why am I doing this? Well, I've been creating Unreal Engine devlogs for the past six months now, and uh, not once have I been offered some free merch from Epic Games. Also, I know a lot of you guys are debating whether you should switch over to Unreal from Unity or perhaps vice versa, and so I thought it could be an interesting experiment to do so that we can really get down to the bottom of which engine really is most suitable for someone like me, like a solo developer. It's great to compare features when choosing an engine, but there's so much more to it than that. And by recreating my entire Unreal Engine project in Unity, we'll really get a good understanding of what it's actually like to work in each engine and actually make something. So far on the project, I've only used Blueprints, which is Unreal's visual scripting tool. While I could use Bolt, which is Unity's answer to Blueprints, I wanted to see if I could recreate my project using only code. I don't have much programming experience, I've only ever taken this C-sharp course on Udemy for Unity, which was fantastic by the way, and tinkered with a few experiments inside Unity. However, even though my experience is limited, I'm hoping it's enough though for me to be able to actually do this. Maybe this is all just a big waste of time. We'll see, let's see how far we get. All right, let's get going, clock is ticking. I started by blocking out some tasks on a Trello board to keep me on track throughout this week. Okay, before you ask in the comments. Shh. This tool I'm using right here is called... <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> what? There's already an error message? I haven't even done anything. How can... How is that possible? I've only opened the program and already... It's gonna be a tough week. <laughs> I started by importing the game models I had already created for Unreal Engine. I wanted to see if I would be able to reuse the same models or if I would need to go in and make changes or recreate them entirely for Unity. Oh wow. That looks... Great. But hey! It's working! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it just gets better and better with each slider. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. It just kept getting better and better until this one. The models I had created for Unreal Engine seemed to be working 100% in Unity without me changing anything. I was really expecting to have to do some work here, but so far so good. Man, this looks awful. Ah. I really hope we can fix the graphics somehow. Why does it look so bad? It looks slightly different than what we had in Unreal, let's just put it that way. A big part of this boxing game is that it's physics based, so using physical animations is a really important feature. It's basically what you see here, physics on top of an animated character, like floppy arms and all that. Like a ragdoll, but with animations. The problem with Unity is that it does not support physical animations natively. And this is one of the biggest reasons that I decided to go with Unreal Engine instead of Unity when I first started this project. Luckily, there's one option. There's a plugin on the asset store called Puppet Master which allows you to do this. The only problem is, it's expensive. And I don't even know if it's gonna work for what we're doing, there's no way to try it out. I also just quit my job, so... I don't really know how to use this, but it's working. Yeah, a little bit, I think. I... <laughs> this is weird. I love this, this is the best. 
Okay, I've been at this for a few hours now trying to get decent results out of Puppet Master and and then I tried to like fix the bad lighting and uh, have a look. <laughs> Nothing is working and everything is broken. <laughs> No quitters here. Yesterday didn't go super well. We're just gonna start over. No problem. We've got tons of time. I did a little bit of reading the night before on Unity's render pipeline, and we're gonna start over using the high definition render pipeline this time, and hopefully that way we can make the game look a little better by simply starting out on the right foot. Oh wow, what a difference. This is looking lit. No, seriously, I'm actually really impressed. Check this out. This is what it looked like yesterday, and this is what it looks like now. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. Like, this is looking really, really, really good. It's just as good as Unreal. The models are imported, the lighting is looking way better than yesterday, and it's finally time to get started on putting the game together. Which means, it's time to brush up on those coding skills. <laughs> okay, easy. Let's go. I spent the rest of the day setting up the input controls and getting our basic movement working properly. Getting back into C-sharp was a lot easier than I thought, and I was actually enjoying writing some basic code again. Visual scripting is awesome, but there's something really satisfying about writing your own code from scratch. Kidding. I'm not tired. I've been to the gym, taken the dog down, had breakfast, and I am ready, baby. And it's only, well, 11.30, but yeah, whatever. So I got basic movement working yesterday, and I also started looking at animations. I just imported the animations I was using for Unreal, and they work just straight out of the box, no problem. I spent some time setting up the animations and learning about Unity's animation system. It's pretty good, but not without its frustrations. Okay, I additive animations. See, I need the punches to be additive. It's basically an animation played on top of another. I've been trying to get it to work for the past like four hours. When you're dealing with additive animations, you need a reference frame for them to work. And it's seemingly impossible to do that in Unity. In Unreal Engine, it's easy. I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything on this, including the documentation. Anyways, after lots of digging, I finally found that all you gotta do is... Okay, check this out. This is... No, so, you have to click here, enter debugging mode, and voila. Like, now you can select the reference frame. Boom, right there. Super easy, but like... It's... It's... It's, it's, it's like... How... How... What... How... In the original game, we used the right thumbstick to lean your character. The process to do something similar in Unity turned out to be very similar to what I'm used to on Unreal, so no problem there. Getting the shorts to follow along the same animation as the character though, and not just do this, was not as easy. 
But after more hours of digging around online, I finally found a solution that works pretty well. And it's really simple too. But finding this information was not easy. But it's working. We're all right. Now that I had a better understanding of the animation system, I spent the next couple of days working further on the controls, implementing different attacks and blocking. See, the attack system is based on how you are leaning your character. So if you're leaning over to the right and then lean back up, you'll perform a hook. It's a little unconventional, but this way I think attacking will feel more natural than just assigning different attacks to different buttons. I'm basically just looking at what I did in Unreal Engine through blueprints and then just trying to replicate that in code. Visual scripting is surprisingly similar to coding. It's really the same thing, just slightly different. All right, great progress so far. We can dodge, we can run around, and we can even attack. Uh, I also put Puppet Master in. <laughs> so we now have physics running on top of our character. It's pretty impressive, I gotta say, it's definitely well made. I'm actually surprised, I didn't expect this much out of just some random plugin. I'm pretty happy with how the physics are working and I'm gonna call that good for now. Back in Unreal, we created a pretty advanced system for how we deal damage to the opposing player. So my next task was to try to replicate this in Unity. And this was a little scary. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be some of the most intense coding you've ever witnessed. So strap yourself in, put your diapers on, let's do this. Boom, done. All right, check this out. We're punching. We have a system that checks the speed of the hand as it hits the head, multiplied by how hard you're leaning into the punch, just like we had back in Unreal Engine. We then take whatever damage number we get and send it over to the other player, and then we can use that to deduct health and do other things with it. Now that we can send damage between the players, I got started on working on a health bar. I have a little experience working in Unity's UI system, but I barely remember how to use it, so Bracky's tutorial on how to create health bars really came in handy here. Back in Unreal, we had created some really cool finishing animations. So now that we had our health bar working, I wanted to try my luck at creating some of that inside Unity. It went uh, uh, a little so-so. <laughs> okay, admittedly, this is not as cool as what we had in Unreal Engine, but you can definitely do it. It's not a problem. I just need to investigate a little bit further how Puppet Master works and how it could... I was coming up on the final day of this challenge and I was actually happily surprised at how much I had achieved in such a short amount of time. Or maybe it just took me way too long to make the game in the first place. I don't know. <laughs> Right now though, the one controller currently controls both characters, which isn't exactly ideal. So I needed a way to split it up so that we can control the characters with separate joy pads. Again, Brackies came to the rescue here with this tutorial, and as it turns out, Unity has upgraded its input system to be more like Unreal Engine system, which is fantastic. But this system is not on by default. You have to manually turn it on in the package manager, which meant that I had to go in and reprogram a lot of the features to make them compatible with the new input system. I really wish Unity would just swap out old features and make new, better features the default. I'm already deep into the project and then having to install a bunch of packages that alter how things work and something as basic as inputs. These are things that should be done very, very early in the development, but I didn't know about this, so what else is there that I didn't know about? But after a few hours of rejigging my current script to be compatible with the new control system, I was ready for testing. And it doesn't work. <laughs> so it turns out that the method I was following along with Brackies is not actually compatible with uh, two controllers. So, I mean, the new input system is compatible with two controllers, just not the method that Brackies used. <laughs> this means I have to now redo all the stuff that I already redid once, one more time. Problem is, we're running out of time, and it's looking like I won't be able to add two-player to the game. But I still think that this challenge was successful. I mean, we pretty much made the whole game. It's just this little snag and a few other tiny details, and it's given me a way better perspective over what each engine is capable of. One step closer to being the best game developer in the entire Pontiverse. The Unity project obviously isn't as far along, but given another couple of weeks or so, I feel like I could be pretty much at the same stage as I am now with the Unreal version of the game. Obviously it helps already having done it once, even if it is in a different engine. 
And that brings me to what you've all been waiting for. Which engine am I gonna proceed with? I'm gonna be completely honest here. I came into this challenge 100% sure I would stick with Unreal Engine. It was more of a fun experiment, just to, you know, see. But I gotta say, I mean, I couldn't find a single feature that was missing in Unity. I mean, I was always under the impression that Unity was very, very bare bones and didn't really have any functionality compared to Unreal Engine. And that is true. You, Unreal Engine has more features, but, but literally the only thing I found missing with Unity was the physical animation aspect, which I had to buy a third party asset to supplement with. But apart from that, everything that I've been doing in Unreal Engine so far has been totally possible in Unity. The problem is that it's not always obvious where to find it. And I definitely have changed my view of Unity entirely. And I'm gonna go on record here and say, if you're making a game and you don't know which to choose, I would be fully comfortable to say that you could really go with either because so far I, I found no problem with using Unity. And in fact, I have really enjoyed using C Sharp as opposed to visual scripting. It's so much leaner, so much faster. I could go and use C++ in Unreal Engine, but I hate C++ and it's so slow and I just don't like it. C Sharp is love it. But if you're debating whether you should change, if you've already started with an engine, say you're in Unity and you feel like you have that under control, I see no reason for you to switch. Like you have what you need. And if not, you can probably find it on the asset store. Yeah, it might cost you a little bit of money, but it might be worth it as opposed to relearning an entire engine because Unreal Engine is pretty hard. It's harder to learn. But so what am I gonna do? I'm going to stick with Unreal Engine for now, simply because I've made more progress and I feel I know what's going on and, and switching over to Unity just feels a little scary to me uh, because Unity does have one big downside and it is what I talked about earlier with all these packages that you have to install. I really dislike that. It just, I had to redo stuff. The controls are still not working. With Unreal, I found that anytime I screwed anything up, it was very easy to fix it without having to redo a bunch of work and install additional things. And that's something, like for me, I'm still learning. So for me, that's really important that I'm able to experiment with things without the fear of having to redo a bunch of stuff. But if at any point down the line, I'm finding that Unreal Engine is more difficult to work with than Unity, like let's say for example, we try to implement multiplayer or an AI and Unity has a much better solution than Unreal Engine, I'll, I'll switch in a heartbeat. As far as I can tell, Unity is just as powerful as Unreal Engine. And okay, yes, right. You can go and compare frames per seconds in similar scenes and Unreal Engine will perform slightly better than Unity. This is true. But chances are that your game that you're thinking of making won't push those limits anyway. So really, it doesn't matter. Just pick whatever you feel is best. So give both engines a shot and see what works best for you. All right, that was fun. Don't forget to join a Discord community. That's really where it's all happening. We have suggestions, we have memes. Epic. You guys like memes, right? Join our Discord, do it. Anyways, don't forget about the Google algorithm juice. The way to get the juice is you sure to hit subscribe. It's free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want and it really helps me out a lot and I need a lot of help. Make sure to get those likes in. Let me know what engine you think I should choose. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, it was awesome to see you. Such a fun time. Next week, maybe we'll go back to actually working on the game and making some progress. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video so that I could actually buy the plugin and make this whole video possible. You guys are the best. Don't forget to support them and I'll see you guys next week. Stay epic guys.